let's go over how to use Threads, an Instagram app. Now, you might have seen Threads is a brand new app created by Meta. I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps to download it, to set it up, how to use it, the features, all of that stuff. So let's first hop into the App Store or if you're on Android, Google Play Store, and we're gonna just search for Threads here and hit search. Now, the key thing is you need Threads and Instagram app. You can see towards the bottom, here's Threads not affiliated with Instagram. We want the Threads and Instagram app. So let's just tap to download and install it. The cool thing is, is if you have Instagram on your phone and you have an Instagram account, it will just pull in all of your information from Instagram. So let's just open up the app here. I'm gonna hit allow notifications and I have already set up my account, but basically what you will see is a screen that allows you to log in using your Instagram account. So just go through those steps. It'll prompt you to follow some people if you wanna follow some people. And basically once you've done that, you can be at a screen that looks like this. It will show you a bunch of different threads, AKA they're kind of similar to Twitter tweets. So you can go through here, of course, this is Meta's version of competing with Twitter, and there are already some big names on here. So if you tap the search button at the bottom left, you can see it'll show you a bunch of different accounts on here. There are big, big names. Gordon Ramsay on here, Jack Black is already on here. Let's see, keep going down. Um, there are a bunch of different brands on here. A lot of people are verified. A lot of people already have thousands, hundreds of thousands, and in some cases, millions of users on this Threads app. So you can see Instagram already has 2.1 million followers, whereas JLo already has 800,000 followers. Ellen DeGeneres already has 500,000. NBA has close to 900,000 followers. So within less than a day, it's become super popular. Of course, on here, you can follow any accounts that you want to. So if you want to follow Will Smith, maybe the NBA and JLo, you can do that. Just follow them and they'll appear in your normal on here. If you tap the home button, they'll appear on your normal threads screen. So you can see at the very top, JLo just popped up. You can do a couple other things. So after you've done that search in the bottom center, you can see that pencil and paper. We can tap that and this is where you can create your own thread. So again, my username is the exact same username as my Instagram username. I can start a thread, I can just post hi. I can tap that little uh, paperclip button right there and it says, does it want to access my photos? I can hit allow access and I can use any other photo, video, anything like that if I wanted to add it. So keep again mind that it's kind of like Twitter tweets and you can usually just add text, but you can also have images as well. So at the very bottom at the left, you see anyone can reply to that. You can tap on it and switch it to profiles you follow, mentioned only, any of those different things. And then once you're ready, just hit post at the bottom right. So that will post your first thread. Now, if you wanted to see that, you can tap on your profile at the bottom right here, and you can see I have just posted hi as my first thread. On here, you can see edit profile, share profile, replies. Let's tap on edit profile here. Now, the cool thing is that I can have my name, which was brought over from Instagram. I can write a bio, add a link. I can have a private profile. If I don't want anyone else to be able to see my threads, unless I approve them, I can make it private. I can tap the little picture icon here, and then I'm just gonna import it from Instagram. So just like that, it will bring in my exact same profile picture from Instagram into threads. And then I can hit done here. So going through all of this stuff, you've updated your profile. You can tap that little heart button at the bottom right, same as any other notification. So you can see all activities. I have a bunch of follower requests. I can go in here, I can check those out. And if I wanted to approve them, I can just go back and either hit confirm or if I don't want them to follow my account, I can hit hide if I don't necessarily want that. So I can also go to replies, mentions, verified, any of those different things if I want to see various activity or notifications from all of those people. Now let's go back to the home button at the bottom left here. 
And then on all of these, it will look very similar to Twitter. You can hit this little heart button if you just want to like a thread. You can tap the comment if you wanted to add a reply, aka a comment to that specific thread. You can hit this little retweet button on here or repost. So you can repost it or quote it. And then the last one is this little airplane icon. You can tap that and you can add it to your Instagram story, which is pretty cool. You can post it to your Instagram feed. You can tweet it. So this is Meta's kind of jab at Twitter. They're hoping that a lot of people will be able to tweet from threads or send threads from threads over to Twitter, AKA giving it a bit of a nudge that you might want to head over to threads. And then of course you can copy the link, share it, all of that stuff. But beyond that, you can just scroll through here and it's a cool another social media app that was just created by the giant Meta. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.